Valvoline All Engine Clean First Defense. Valvoline's new powerful All Engine Clean system is a professional cleaning treatment designed to remove hard to reach engine deposits in gasoline engines, including both port fuel injected and gasoline direct injected engines. Product needed VPS All Engine Clean First Defense Kit, VPS Complete Intake Fuel Rail Device, VPS Map Sensor Adapter, or Map Sensor Adapter with Tube, or VPS S Tool Sprayer. Before starting the service, always wear safety glasses. No smoking or open flames when servicing fuel systems. Do not perform on diesel or rotary engines. Inspect to ensure that the vehicle's airflow sensor is not attached to the throttle body. Do not perform the service if the vehicle is making knocking or unusual noises. Do not perform if the vehicle shows signs of overheating, such as low coolant, weeping radiator, signs of leaking, etc. Do not install products until a visual inspection for signs of leaking fluids is complete. Ensure the vehicle is properly ventilated. It must be outside or connected to an exhaust hose or extraction system. Always keep canister in the upright position when pressurized or when fluid is in the canister. Vehicles should have at least half a tank of fuel, otherwise advise customer to fill up immediately following service. Before installing product into the vehicle, verify that the sprayer is producing a mist when product is evacuated from the canister. Step 1. Shut off engine. Make sure regulator on the VPS complete intake fuel rail device is closed, knob turned counterclockwise. Note, units are shipped in this configuration. Make sure the ball valve shutoff valve is closed and in upright position. Before starting the service, ensure the vehicle is at normal operating temperature. Turn the AC system on high to accelerate this process and maintain on during service to increase load on engine. Note, it is recommended to use an OBD2 scan device to monitor engine temperature, RPMs, and DTCs. Using the S-hook attached to the BPS complete intake fuel rail device, Hang the tool in a convenient place above the engine with the gauges and canister upright. Remove canister from VPS complete intake fuel rail device and fill canister with the VPS all engine clean intake cleaner. The VPS all engine clean intake cleaner is introduced into the air system through the MAP sensor or via the throttle body using a sprayer adapter that is highly atomized. Reinstall filled canister to the VPS complete intake fuel rail device hand tighten. If introducing via throttle body, skip to step 8. Locate and disconnect pigtail assembly from MAP sensor. Caution! Engine may be hot. Remove MAP sensor. Securely attach the MAP sensor adapter onto MAP sensor port using the original bolt provided. Note: If using the MAP sensor adapter with tube, this may require bending or shaping the stainless steel tube to conform fit. Attach hose from VPS complete intake fuel rail device to MAP sensor adapter. Continue to step 12 to continue procedure. Disconnect air duct from the front of the throttle body. Caution, engine may be hot. Attach S-tool in front of throttle plate, being sure that the nozzle is not hitting the face of the plate. Note, this may require bending or shaping the S-tool to conform fit. While holding the S-tool in place, reattach air duct over the S-tool and onto the throttle body. Carefully tighten clamp to secure fitting onto throttle body. Note, Leaks can occur if attachment is not securely tightened. Attach shop air supply or hose to the VPS complete intake fuel rail device. Adjust the air pressure to 30 to 40 PSI by turning the regulator knob clockwise. Check for leaks throughout the apparatus or device. Start vehicle and allow vehicle to run at idle. Always stand at least two feet from vehicle when starting engine. Slowly open the ball valve, shutoff valve to allow product to start misting through sprayer. Monitor engine for an audible difference in engine noise. Continue to check for leaks. The product application continues for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. For engines that are turbocharged or supercharged, do not increase RPMs during service. Only allow engine to run at idle. For normal engines, vehicle may remain at idle. However, slowly increasing the engine RPMs to 2000 once per minute can enhance product flow throughout the system and improve cleaning. Once all product has run through apparatus, close ball valve shutoff valve on apparatus by turning valve back to upright position. Wait three minutes to ensure all fluid has evacuated hose. Close regulator on the VPS complete intake fuel rail device by turning counterclockwise. Release pressure from unit by loosening bleeder valve. Tighten after all pressure has been released. Allow vehicle to idle at normal RPM for approximately five minutes. 
shut off vehicle before proceeding to next step. Detach map sensor adapter from port or sprayer from throttle body and securely attach the map sensor or air duct back to original location. Reconnect pigtail assembly back to map sensor if applicable and restart vehicle. Remove VPS complete intake fuel rail device from under the hood. Remove all miscellaneous tools and rags from the engine bay. Start engine and check for any fuel leaks or loose connections. If vehicle fails to start, it may be required to perform a relearn procedure or disconnect positive battery cable and reconnect. Confirm that no diagnostic trouble codes have tripped. If so, clear these codes at this time. Add VPS complete fuel system cleaner to gas tank. Make sure gas cap is tightened completely. Loose gas caps can cause the check engine light to come on. Test drive vehicle and look for any signs of hesitation, rough idling, or check engine lights. Some hesitation immediately after service is normal until all product has moved through system. If a complete oil change using the recommended oil and viscosity for vehicle has not been completed in the last 50 miles, it is recommended one be completed after the Valvoline all-engine clean first defense service has been completed.